guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight, I wanted to take a minute to show you this little radio I picked up. Now, this is a realistic TRC424. This is just this is just your average run-of-the-mill early 80s, maybe, yeah, I'd say early 80s radio. I don't know. I haven't looked up the exact date on it. But this is just an example of what you can find at a yard sale. I got this thing for about 10 bucks, and it came with a microphone, and uh, it's a little 40-channel radio. It's got some interesting features that we're going to go over here as I show you a close-up here. Let me go ahead and show you a close-up of it right here. Yeah, it's got Delta Tune, which again, this is kind of a function that's gone obsolete, but uh, it does have that. So if you have a signal that's a little bit off, off channel one side to the other, it allows you to adjust for it. Of course, it has a PA and a noise blanker, which is pretty well standard for all automotive uh, CVs back in the day. At least a noise blanker was. But it does have a PA function. And then we've got RF gain on the other side here squelch and volume so uh, we have all that rounded out then we have a nice uh, digital display here a red digital display that's going to show the 40 channels and I'll power this thing up here so you can see that in just a second and then we have a meter so uh, now overall not a bad radio not, to, not anything spectacular not a Cobra 29 or a, you know no big sideband radio here but I bet you this thing's a solid performer and uh, I wanted to show you this um, you know just kind of go through it's got the placard on the bottom with the speaker and here's a close-up of that. And it just says, uh, trade name realistic, TRC424, 40-channel citizens band transceiver. And uh, where is she made? Manufactured in Japan for Radio Shack. So we're talking about high-quality components in here. On the back, it says Japan has a serial number. And it does have ports for an external speaker and your PA back there, as well as, of course, your power cord and uh, your antenna hookup. So... Nice little radio. It didn't have a bracket, but it's very uncommon to find any radio used that still has the bracket attached to it. Um, chrome's pretty nice, a little scratched up. It's got very interesting that it's got this wood grain. Uh, it's like a, almost a greenish offset uh, wood grain, and uh, the chrome dials are they're pretty dirty, but they're still functional. So give me a minute. I'm going to go ahead and hook this thing up to this little power supply here, hook the mic up to it. And uh, we don't have anything going on locally right now, but I will go ahead and plug it in and see what she does, see how she sounds anyway. So hang on. There's always something that needs a little fixing on far point farms. Freedom is my sweet. Liberty sows its seed at Farpoint.